and welcome to the Evelyn Rose Quilt Company. I'm your host, Kayla. Today, I wasn't going to film this. I wasn't. I've been working really hard at getting my stuff for the upcoming craft fair done. So all my free time has been, is bleh. So all my free time has been sewing. Um, so all my free time has been sent. So all my free time has been spent sewing and um, gathering supplies and materials and things like that. So I got this box on Tuesday, but I could not wait any longer. And I don't know if you know what this is, but this is the Missouri Star Advent Calendar. I um, been waiting for this for so long. So let's talk about some advantages of this. I forgot to look up the prices. I forgot to look up the prices. Okay, well, let's, let's keep going for now. So as you can see, I haven't even opened the shipping box yet, but there's gonna be a prettier box on the inside. Um, if you haven't looked at this one yet, it is going to be awesome. I'm assuming, I actually, this is my first year getting this box. I wanted it last year. I did not get it. I feel like my drink's gonna get knocked over. I do have a drink, because this is probably gonna be a long video with a lot of talking. So I do have my drink here. Oh, it's so ready. I am not going to get this out of this box gracefully. So one second. <laughs> okay. Even the bottom is pretty. Right? All the sides are lovely. Let's put it over here so you can see it better. It has a magnet flap. Okay. Now. All right, I thought it was a little wonky, but it was just because I had it half off the table. It's, it's got a little ding here, but not bad. The shipping box was in great condition, so anything. This box is in really good shape. All right, I'm not sad about that. This is a nice box. You can use this later for storing quilts. Okay, so I was able to, so, all right, you can pay for this box in two payments, which I really do appreciate because it makes it a little more manageable. It is a rather expensive box, in my opinion. I'm not saying the value is not there, I'm just saying it's expensive. I don't remember what the value was supposed to be. All I can tell you is my first payment was $97.83, and my second payment, well, uh, I think it was a little less, I wanna say 95. I can't give you the exact amount because I, when I paid my second payment, I added a pattern. So there was free shipping, that's important to note. So let's say it was just just under $200. So let's say it's $200 and there's 24 days and I can't math, but $200 was easier math, but I still am not, it's morning. So each day should be worth seven to $8. So now I know there's gonna be some days that are worth more and some days that are worth less, but give or take $8. All right. First thing up, look, everything's wrapped so nicely. We have this little thing with a little Christmas card. It says, be merry, thankful, celebrate, family, friends, love, peace, kindness, believe. Unwrap your gifts each day with Jenny from December 1st to Christmas morning. Oh, is it 25? Is this 25? I thought it was 24. That's it. Okay, so my math before was for 24 days. So now let's say each day should be about $5. I think we're going to get that. I think we're going to get that, no problem. Okay. Um, so, yeah. She's going to do an unwrapping every day and tell you more about each product. We're doing it all now. So there may be some questions. We'll see. For even more festive fun, join Jenny's count. Oh, that's just the same darn thing. Okay. Is it pictures or anything? Oh, there is. Okay. Merry Christmas from the domes. Look, you can set that up and make it nice and pretty. We're gonna set this aside for now. Okay, so each gift is lovely wrapped in the same theme as this, just the opposite colorway. Very pretty, this is day 11. I am not tall enough for this. Oh, here's a little ducky. Little flat duck, I've got some other flat ducks, but a flat chuck. 
This is exclusive to the box, apparently. Jenny's Countdown to Christmas Celebration 2023 Flat Chuck. Here's another fun surprise for you. Take this exclusive Christmas Chuck along on your daily adventures throughout the season. He's already dressed in the holiday spirit to join your festivities. We'd love to see what you and Chuck are up to, so take pictures and share them with us so we can join the fun. Dress up your favorite ugly sweater. Yeah. Dress up in your favorite ugly Christmas sweater with Chuck and snap a picture. Use hashtag celebrate MSQC when you share your pictures. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Just so we're clear, I will not be doing this. I probably should, but I will not. Okay, let's find day next three. That's 23. We're gonna find day number one, somewhere in here. Oh, that feels nice and hefty. Okay, we're gonna have to dig. Day three, if I can just put that aside. Day four, I should hide that in the back. 12, we're not getting, well, we are getting closer technically. If one is the bottom one, five, that's like, oh, sorry, I just found a stack of boxes, seven, one, day number one. Let's move these back out of the way. I moved the camera a little bit so you can get a better angle of this um, and still see oh, your favorite person, me, <laughs> and still see me. Oh, there's this little, okay, so I'm gonna use my scissors to slice this so I don't mess up the packaging because there's a good chance I will be putting it back in and reopening it. Actually, I know I will. Or, okay, day number one, it feels like a charm pack. It is, it's a charm pack. Come out, come out, come out. Snuggly sweater charm pack, and it's, it looks like a Missouri Star. Eh. And it looks like a Missouri Star exclusive. Let's go ahead and take it out of here. Oh, I should have kept that box closer instead of chucking it across the room. Now I'll just make a... Oh, I got it in! Ha! Okay. Snuggly with S un ugly sweater charm pack. So we've got some nice blue stars. Oh, those are cute. That's not ugly. What else? Oh, some little trees. Santa's that. Oh, these are actually not ugly. Oh, little mushrooms, maybe a little bit. Pretty. All right, donuts. That's not really Christmas me, but I like it. That's cute. Cupcakes. Well, gin cookie trees and candy canes. There's Chuck. <laughs> I never thought I'd have Chuck fabric. Kitties. Okay. This is not ugly. Kind of, some of them are a little more random than others. Um, I'm going to say from past years of watching, I'm going to say that this, this, I'm going to say that this is for the next project or the day number two. What we'll see. So day number one, charm pack. And leaving little fuzzies all over. All right, day number two. Two. That's eight. Oh, eight's a monster. Twenty. Nine. Okay. Fourteen. Twenty-two. Seven. All right. Twenty-three. You're gonna have to come out. I don't know where I'm gonna put all this. Oops. 19. See, it's a whopper. Okay. Let me set. I'm already out of room. It's a whopper, but it's light. Okay. 26. Oh. Nine. Four. Don't fall. That feels breakable. 19. Day two and day 17. Day two. I don't want to put all this back in. <laughs> okay. Day four, you can stay out. Two, two three, four, Definitely. Oh, I just knocked one over. 
number. Day six. Six is my favorite number. This better be a good one. All right. I'll get that other one in a minute. It's day two. Maybe a pattern and a template? Maybe? I don't know. Is the suspense killing anybody? Oh, maybe not. Okay, no, maybe not. So light, fusible interfacing. Uh-oh. Oh, I have a feeling we're going to be doing... Oh my gosh, that's the cutest little template. Okay, so I'm gonna say we are a snuggly Christmas sweater. Um, I have not done, what's it, well, I'm drawing a blank. It's not embroidery. Where you stick it on top. Not pieced. Good grief. What's it called? Excuse me. Oh, oh. Okay, you know what? There's the pattern. It's really cute. Applique, applique, that's it. We're gonna be doing applique, and here we are. Looks, and that's really cute. Um, my sister makes ugly sweater Christmas cookies every year, except they're really cute, and I'm afraid this is gonna be really cute too. But if this is made to be fairly tiny as a wall hanging, 17 and a half by 17 and a half, I can hang this on my door. Normally I put like a snowman thing, but I'm. If I can get this done in time, this is going to be my December door hanger, maybe. My front door. I like that idea. And then I can make mug rugs with it. How cute. So it looks like we'll have to, so far, it could be coming, but so far we'll have to provide binding, backing, which I assume we'll have to provide backing, but binding and got the five inch squares, a quarter yard accent fabric for sashing and border and a half a yard background fabric, which would be our white squares. But we do have the interfacing and we do have the sweaters and maybe, I don't know if we can get two. No, it doesn't look like we can get two, but we will have scraps that we could maybe do some piecing somewhere. Okay, I'm not mad at this. I kind of, this is really cute. I was a little scared when I saw the interfacing and knew it was gonna be applique, but I, it's really cute. And I will be trying that. Okay, I need a place to put these. I guess, I guess right by me. Okay, hold on. Drink break. Mm -hmm. That's number four. I know I put number two over here. Oh, no, that was two. There's three. Okay. Day number three does not feel like fabric, so it is not the sashing and border for that last one. Oop, don't cut the paper. Oh, come on, you're my good scissors. My good non-fabric scissors. Okay, what is it, guys? Magic flathead pins. Okay, so these are the long and skinny ones, which I do love. I have some other ones, but these have um, rubber grips. Comfort handles, sharp and strong, holds multiple layers of fabric and a designer storage case, which in the case, they're all laid flat. What did it land? Oh, there it is. It is a Missouri Star exclusive case. It's got the Missouri Star symbol. It is caution, not a toy, not intended for children. This product is intended for adult adult fashion and decorative uses only so now we're using pins to decorate do not put items into mouth or ingest okay we all do that come on I mean we don't ingest them but we do put them in our mouth like you know hold it in your lips not like all the way in always wear safety glasses when using what does not include fabric that's true it does not include fabric I am gonna be honest I'm not gonna wear safety glasses while using in fact these are probably what I'll be wearing. Unless it's a contact day. It's usually not a contact day. So, 
Um, the case is nice and big. There's plenty of room to add more to it. In the picture, they're nice and perfectly stacked and the case is full, so I don't know how many they put in that. But it's a nice, large case. And we can always use more pins, especially these good ones. So, all right, ready? Day number four. This is going to be our first gift. They are dessert plates. They are that melamine. Am I saying that right? So they are plastic, but they're that good plastic. Do not put these in the microwave. The uh, clear burnt, clear layer on top bubbles up and that can be toxic. So, but they are dishwasher safe. So I'll actually probably use these. We got a nice aqua teal one. Nice red. Oh, ooh, I like this color. Look, oh, that's lovely, isn't it? And gray. It's very cute, all different stars. Very cute. Um, yeah, I will actually, I'll probably use those. So I like, I like a practical gift. I'm always happy with a practical gift. I also like fun gifts that make no sense at all. As long as it's something I actually want. Okay, put this back in the box. Keep it safe until we're ready to use them. Okay. All right, number five. Have we seen five yet? I know we've seen six. Here's six. We'll put that over here. These are 11, okay, seven, gonna do that soon, eight's down next to me. There's five, that's honker. The honker is five, okay. This, it feels very light, but it's very big. It's not empty. All right, this one's got a big sticker. I, I have no idea what this is gonna be. Okay, there's tissue, no? Okay, all right, so we have some foamy cone trees and fabric twine trees pattern. So I'm going to guess we're going to get some fabric to twine. So let's see, you just need scraps of fabric in three colors, a hot glue gun and a craft knife. Okay. So that looks actually fairly easy to do. And it even shows you, oh, you can add a star, but it even shows you how to make a bonus coaster with it. So that's, that's kind of fun. And with the right colors, I could definitely, definitely see those going out at Christmas time. They are lightweight, so my cats will probably knock it down. But that's, that's cute, I'm kind of excited about that. All right, day six, all right. This should be the second to best one because six is my favorite number. The best one should be the last one. I think that's true in any advent calendar. But here we go. Number six. It's something wooden. Okay. I feel like this is totally usable, but I feel more decorative. But it would definitely put the little imprints in your cookies. Let's see what the little paper has to say. Oh, here we go. There's even, it's definitely meant to be used. There's a shortbread cookie recipe, and I don't know how well you can see this, but there's the designs from the rolling pin on it. Okay, you know what? So you need flour, salt, baking powder, butter, powdered sugar, and lemon juice. I have all of these things. I can make these today. Not gonna do it today, because after this I have to start sewing. And Fridays are busy with kids stuff and I've been craving some salsa so I'll be asking if we can go out um that was cute that was cute I don't know if it's the best thing in the box but it was cute number seven this feels like another charm pack I do I like getting the fabric I think that's fun and there's a hair on me sorry Cotton solid. 
palettes. Okay. So red, pink, and aqua. All right, I can see definitely Valentine's colors. I wonder what we're gonna make. I'm gonna leave these right here because I bet you number eight will be a clue. And number eight is this honker down here. And this feels squishy. I wonder if I have enough scraps to make those trees. It doesn't say how much scraps you just need. It just says make scraps. Okay. Are we making a pot holder? No. We're making. Okay, so this is polyfirm fleece for the batting, which means you can make oven gloves or pot holders or lunch boxes. And it came with this really cute starlight table runner. And you can see it's these colors right here. Um, yeah, 100% we'll be making this. So it also has a bonus project oversized hot pad, which that explains this. Okay, so the table runner size is 16 by 48. Um, you're gonna need a three quarters of a yard for background fabric, a half a yard for binding, and the backing is one and a half yards. Then you have this here, and the oversized hot pad is 12 by 12. And for that, you need a quarter yard background fabric and a quarter yard binding. I like, what I do like about this is, no, including the box, there's, there we go. It's got like a one star if it's something that's included in your, in this box, in your kit. And it has two little asterisks if it's something you need to add. So. I'm not mad about that. I like that. Oh, I don't know why I'm gonna try to stick that back in there. We'll put that over there. Okay. What was that, eight? So we're on day nine already? Day nine was a box. Yeah, day nine. Look, these boxes are cute. If these stickers come off nicely, which I doubt they will, I was gonna say I'll reuse them. These boxes to wrap. Christmas presents, what's this? What? Oh, it's a little clamp. It looks like a little light clamp. Okay, it's got a USB charger, so it's gonna be wireless. Clip and sew light. Look at that. It clips right on your table. Be my table, day 21. There you go. That's cute. My room is dark in here, so um, this might come in handy. If, if I don't use it, though, I might give it to my grandma. She is 92 and could use a little extra light. That's cute. I like the color of this too. That, this is not something I would have bought for myself, but it is certainly nice to have, isn't it? I like things that I wouldn't normally buy for myself, but are, you know, nice. Day 10. Oh, right here. Oh, this is heavy. <gasps> What's in this? I don't know. It's a box. It's a box inside there it's heavy like ceramic coasters heavy but it's not ceramic coaster shaped playing cards all right Missouri star colors for sure and it's playing cards I like that this is a drawer that slides out that is a nice feature and two different colors of cards and the Joker is Chuck. I do like the, that they're different backs because when we play garbage, you have to mix it, mix it, you have to mix up a couple decks depending on how many players you have, but always two, sometimes more. And so having the different backs means you can separate them back out when you're done. Um, let's open one up. One, two. See what the rest of the cards look like. Maybe. There we go. Again, my trash box is way over there. The last thing landed in. I don't think I can get this one in. It's too... Ha <laughs> ha! Well, most of it went in. Oh, that's cute. There's the king. The three. Like, are, I'll put it there. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, so I was going to say, are all the face cards. That's just, so there's the king, there's queen, jack. Those are cute. They're like quilt blocks. And then they're like pieced, but same tones. Oh, those are cute. I like them. So we have teal, we have orange, we have cards throwing everywhere. I don't, they're not going to be in order. That's okay. I got to get them out of order eventually anyway. All right, what else? Another, uh, more of a reddish, no, it's another orange. And that means this one's going to be another teal. There you go. And look at the two adorable jokers. Okay. Moving on. That was a good day, 10. That was fun. We use cards. Day number 11. The 11 was in this one. Ooh. This, if this is not fabric, I will be surprised. It's definitely bendy and squishy like fabric. So what is it? Look, I missed. Well, it is not fabric, it is felt. You can see it's already like pre-cut, you just gotta pop them out there. It's for a felt bird kit, which is in the same kind of design as this, what is it, Scandinavian? There's a, another hair on me, good gracious, okay. Um, those are actually pretty cute. Those are pretty cute. I will, I will make these for sure. I just don't know if they're going on my tree or my grandma's tree. My grandma really appreciates handmade things. Um, I think that is part of it is if she wants something, she just goes and gets it. And the other part is it, she understands the time and the care it took to make it. So I, her tree is snowman or not snowman. Her tree is Santa themed. So it is red and white, but I don't know if the birds will work with the Santas. So they might just end up on my tree. I won't be sad if they do it. They're pretty cute. They're not even like my normal style ornament, but they are cute. Day 12, that's 21, that's 15, there's 13, there's 14, that's 20. there's 12, oh my gosh, that's heavy. What? That's heavy. I don't, I don't even know what it is. I would guess like a post-it and pen set. But I don't think that's what it is. All right. Oh, something's rubber or silicone. Okay. Quilt. Cool. Yeah. Quilt while the iron is hot. This is really, really thick. Um, way better quality than the one I have. <laughs> For sure. That came with my really expensive iron. Quilt while the iron is hot. Silicone iron rest. Conveniently rest your iron in between pressings with our silicone iron rest. It's most home irons and can withstand heat up to 464 degrees Fahrenheit or 240 degrees if you're a Celsius fan. Please only use the iron rest on a standard iron sur ironing surface. It will become hot during use. Do not use the iron rest on plastic surfaces, cutting mats, or any surface that may warp or become damaged due to extreme heat. Warning, bottom of mat will become hot to the touch. Allow mat to cool before handling. Do not leave iron unattended or stationary for extended periods of time. Um... I don't really need this because I have the Oliso, who, which, you know, stands up. Um, clip. However, this is like a really nice one. That's, that's at least a half an inch thick. That's really nice. So far, um, am I getting $5 a day worth so far? Absolutely, 100%. 100%. Even the cheapest thing would, I mean, the cheapest thing at this point, I think, would be the charm squares because the patterns all come with something else on that day. This, this, okay, this might be the cheapest thing. It's really flat and light and rectangle. We'll see. I'm not, but I would say, like, even the little bird ornaments would probably retail for at least 14 Sewing edge, okay. Here's what it is. So, sewing edge, reusable vinyl stops for your machine. Save time, sew straight, 
straight seams works on all machines there's five strips in here so okay that's what I was gonna guess so perfect scant quarter inch on any and all machines reusable unlike masking tape and moleskin I do have that little quarter inch tape on my machine aligns in front of foot so adjustments can be made great for all ages and abilities Okay, why well, a scant quarter? Cool designs assume that when sewing and pressing is done, only a quarter inch of fabric is removed from the front of the fabric because of the thread of the fabric thickness. The seam allowance needs to measure slightly less than a quarter of inch, hence a scant quarter. Okay, so you stick these to your machine and they're repositionable, which is nice. Um, my daughter is kind of learning how to sew and if she makes the quilts that she was planning on making, I might let her use these to help guide that. I can see how these would definitely be helpful. Maybe the next quilt I sew, I will give this a whirl, but I have that special quilting foot. Okay, I don't know. I feel like this would be helpful for a lot of people. I don't know if I'm that excited about it. I do think it's more than $5. Okay, day 14. Feels like another charm pack. I, I like charm packs, I'm not gonna lie. And what I really like about compacts is that they always come with a project. Oh, these are pretty. Wandering Ways by Stephanie Oranges. Or Orange. Wait, not Oranges. I have heard her say her name because she's done some tutorials with Missouri Star and I cannot say it today. So, these are really pretty. I feel like I've seen some of these before maybe not some of her other line oh that's they either did a tutorial in this line or one of her other lines let me see if I can find a fabric that really reminds me this might be a new one this might be new I don't know but this is pretty I really like that that's that's right up my alley this design this Sorry, that's just shedding so much, which makes me really want to find the next day to see what we're making with it. So we need day 15. Day 15 right here. We're more than halfway done, guys. Woo! Okay, all right. Should I pull out the accessories first or the pattern first? I don't know. Okay. <gasps> No, this is going to be so cute. Yay, okay. All right. So we got some so light, fusible fleece interfacing. Two sheets of 14 by 14 each. This is what I saw that made me excited. Wood purse handles with magnetic closures. <laughs> the Patrick bag is what we're making. I am so excited about this. So what do we need to supply? Nothing. Are you sure? Okay, so we're making this one. We don't need to supply anything, apparently. If we were doing this one, we'd need the extra fabric. So, you need one package. Here we go. One package of five inch square prints, which is this one here. A half a yard of accent fabric includes a lining and sashing. There you go. You need a half a yard if you want to include the sashing and for the lining. And then you've got your fleece and your handles and your stamps. Oh, I am so excited. Can I make both of these? Because there's, okay, style one, which is without the sashing, is a nine by nine by four, and style two is a nine by ten by four. Oh, this is so cute. All right. I'm going to be honest. If this were the last day, I would be happy. These are really, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty darn happy so far with what we've gotten. Like, so far all the projects I am at least moderately excited about. There's nothing I'm like, oh, this is stupid. Well, I need 16. There's 17. There's 18. 23. Let's stick that back here with 24. 19. 24. 16 is hiding. 25 is the big one on the bottom in case you're wondering. Oh. Oh, these are those 
a little okay quilting well that looks a funny tea it looks like quilt quill cool ring quilting forever housework whenever and then some quilting stars these are those um uh, i think they're sponges or towels what are they perfectly no wet it so washable reusable durable are these like absorb 16 times its weight lasts more than six months Dishwasher safe, machine washable, bleach when needed. Really? 70% cellulose, 30% cotton. I will probably use these more than six months, probably until they start to fall apart. By Swedish Treasures. Wet it. Efficiency with style. Perfect for any cleaning job. So is this like a reusable paper towel or is this going to expand like a sponge? I think it's like a reusable paper towel. That's my guess. I'm not mad at these. I'm not mad at those. I would like definitely... Like I've been, I try to be a little more eco-friendly, so I will, I'm going to give those a shot. 17. There's some trinket stuff in here. This is one that came on down already. Roxanne glue stick. This is going to come in handy with an applique project that we have from the first Oh, and a turner. I've been needing to get one of these. I've been using chopsticks. You can also... Maybe use this side to press open seams, but I have been wanting one of these. I almost bought one so many times. And it's really cute. It's got the stars. It is curved right here, so you can definitely use that to kind of press open. But turning those points, I am... First of all, that's a cute one, and I like the detail here. Um, and it's something I needed, so I'm happy with that. And the Roxanne glue stick for quilting, sewing, scrapbooking, and other craft projects projects. Use instead of pins to position appliques, which we have the ugly sweater thing, which I'm very excited about. Embellishments and more. Smooth, no mess application, dries fast and clear, water soluble, odorless, acid free, non-toxic. So I have like a wet applique glue that I use to secure my bindings before, as I flip them. And I've been wanting a glue stick to try like gluing my, my half triangles, squares before I sew them so that there's less stretch, but I didn't want to use the liquid. I wanted to use the stick. So, I mean, this day number 17 was just a mind reader for me. While they're not, probably not that exciting for a lot of people, those were on my list. 18. Whoops. I just tore it back a little bit. I just tore it again. My goodness, because this sticker is not all the way down, so I keep trying to like rip the sticker in instead of ripping the paper. Oh, I feel a pattern. I love a pattern. Uh oh. Hexi Dreams Pillow. I said uh oh because I feel like it's another applique type thing. What are we doing here? Okay. Oh, we're going to use that Wandering Ways charm pack again. We're going to use the rest of it. And we've got these so light, double-sided, usable fleece pre-cut hexagons. We have our little, it's more diamond, it's not really a hexagon, template. Um, it does have the backing on, so once you pull it off, it'll be clear. Green. Still green, but clear. All right, so Wandering Ways custom 5-inch pack. We've got that. Fits a 12-inch or 16-inch pillow form. So we're going to have to add a half a yard of background fabric. Fabric? Half a yard of background fabric plus the pillow form and a half yard backing, which means this is all going to be applique, is my guess. That's my guess. That's okay. We have the applique glue. We have this. It's a cute pillow. I might make a door hanger, another door like. That's a kind of a, I can't see it anymore, but it's a bright pack. So I might make, instead of a pillow, I might make like a mini quilt that I can hang on my front door. Because um, that's really pretty. And I like the fabric. I, I think that's applique. I didn't read enough of the directions, but I'm pretty sure, especially with getting the glue. So two applique projects makes me a little nervous, only because I haven't done applique before. 
Yes, I have. I haven't done applique since middle school and I didn't know that's what it was called. I was just hand sewing on the face and belly, the flannel, no, not flannel, the um, felt pieces to the pillow I was making in seventh grade. Yes. Okay. If this is not, this is like a book and, a, and a, some pencils. Maybe a calendar? No, it feels very, it feels very bookish. Oh, oh, that's not expected, but kind of fun. Okay, first off, two Missouri Star styled pencils. Let me pull them out so the plastic doesn't reflect. That one fluttered off into the abyss. It did not land anywhere near the box. But there they are. I'm, gonna hold, I'm really holding up my hand, not so I can focus, but so I don't get blinded by the light here. Um, I do like the colors that they go with. They're very cute. And I was right, it is a book. Not the kind of book I was expecting. I was expecting what, like one of their books, like a their monthly book. I was expecting something like that, but like specific to this. But it is Happy Quilter Variety Puzzles with crossword puzzles, logic puzzles, crisscrosses, word mines, word roundups, word searches, and word scrambles. Um, okay. Oh, some of these I like to do. I like to do them digitally though so I can get cheats. These I love, like I love doing these. I downloaded an app just so I could do these. I used to do them in like my Scholastic book. I, I got like a special one just so I could do those. So that's kind of fun. I thought I'd be giving away a lot of this box, honestly, and so far I'm not. What was that, 19? Yeah. So we need 20, that's 21, that's 22, 24, 23. Is it under 25? Oh, where's 21? Is, oh, I remember I lost one, I bet that's 21. Day 20, which means we're in the home stretch. I'm thinking this is a gift. I have not seen a mug yet. Crystal pin cushion. Crystal pin cushion. Do they, how do they? Okay, let me just. Okay, not what I was thinking it was going to be. Um, we have some floss, we have a bead, and we have a little crystal bowl. I, I think this is a project. Not a, I thought it was gonna be complete. It's super cute and I'm not. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Crystal pin cushion project pattern for five inch squares. You need two five inch squares, some furry floss, crystal base and crystal bead, polyfill, ne I have plenty of that. Needle, two inch piece of cardstock or thick paper, glue stick, hot glue gun and glue stick scissors. Okay. So that looks relatively easy. And there's a picture of it when it's all complete. I don't know how well you can see that. But, okay, I'll make that. I think it'll be nice. I'm not that excited to make it. Um, I think I was hoping it was already gonna be done. But that's okay, because this is actually a pretty nice little cup there, so. I might make that and give that to my grandma for Christmas. Although she's already getting a nice big present, so. So, <laughs> I just realized the most breakable thing we've gotten is the thing I threw to the floor. Thank goodness it was well packaged. I'm gonna set that down now as we move on to day 21, which is here. This is very boxy, another heavy one. I wouldn't be surprised if it is one gigantic coaster or maybe a trivet branded trivet. No, no, it's metal tin. Magnetic sticky. Magnetic sticky notes stationary set. Four magnetic pads, 75 cents each. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, that sticks pretty good on there. Okay. Um, yes, it's worth more than $5. I don't know that I'm that excited about it. 
plastic. I just, I obviously this was going to be plastic, but I thought maybe a thicker plastic. It's a nice little metal tin. The packaging is very nice. It's definitely worth more than $5, but it's sticky notes, and I don't get excited about sticky notes, even cute ones. So, I will use them, that's not a question. My refrigerator is stainless steel, so really nothing sticks to that except for where the ice maker is. Um, so things get stuck to my front door instead. And I probably won't stick those there. So the magnetic part was just going to keep it in the tin. Okay, probably the least excited about this, but I'm not mad at it. It is a nice set and probably worth a decent amount. It's okay. So two things that I was like, it's okay. That's pretty good. In a box of 25, that's really good to be like two things out of the whole thing that I'm just like, eh. Okay, we are almost done, guys. Woo! Day 22. Look at you. Oh, it's in some bubble wrap. Oh my gosh, they don't want you to know what's in this one. Another? That's, that's not even mine. That one's mine. That one was a cat. Oh, I'm nervous. Another, oh, that's another metal, metal tin. Pretty color. Mini travel sewing tin for quilters. I'm not going to read what it includes yet. Okay. Okay, that's kind of cute. All right. So we have the mini magnetic inner lid. So it's got like an actual magnet in there. <laughs> the mini rotary cutter, which must be this. Let's see. Oh, how cute! That is so cute. Okay, I like that. That's cute. <laughs> the mini, I'm not going to answer that. Mini seam ripper. Three thread holders and mini scissors. These, this is pretty cute. Oh, and the thimble. There it is. You did tell me about that. Includes sharp objects. Keep out of the reach of children. Um, that's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. Would I buy this? No. Would I be sad if someone gave it to me as a gift? Am I happy to have it though? Yeah, I am. I'm not mad at it. I would not have purchased it myself, but I'm not not angry at that. Um, I don't really travel and sew, but now apparently I can. That little mini rotary cutter is stinking adorable. If it wasn't for that, I would like that little tin would just be okay. I have some little sewing kits. They are not nearly this nice though. They're like the plastic ones that come with the cheap thread that works in a pinch, right? All right, that's 24, we need 23. What's this gonna be? Don't, okay, good. I was like, don't read the bottom because it might tell you what it is. Stop reading the bottom. You're reading the bottom. Why are you reading the bottom? It doesn't say anything. Phew, because I was like not, I could not stop reading it. Okay, this is gonna be snow globe, ornament, a little, You think it's so tightly that that happens. I don't want to dump it over, but apparently. It's a mug. I don't know why I'm excited about a mug. But it's cute, and I like the color. I feel like I've seen this in red, and I'm really glad that we got this aqua color, because that's my way more my color than red. And it's got the Missouri Star logo on the bottom as well, and it says, quilters are peacemakers. And of course, they... Well, little star block there. Um, that's cute. I will use that for sure. Okay. I figured there was going to be a mug of some sort in here because I feel like that's pretty common in advent boxes. Okay. Two days left. Get rid of these little foamies. Two days left. Yeah. Get off of me. 
I'll vacuum later. Day 24 feels nice and heavy. I feel like we're done getting projects, which makes me kind of sad. That's my favorite part of the projects. But let's see what's in here. Maybe we'll get lucky and there will be a project. It is not a project. Our, okay. Okay, I can see. Listen, I love a good book. I will not have time to read it anytime soon. So I'm glad this is on day 23 because <laughs> I won't be able to read it until after Christmas. So it is by Hilary Doan Sperry, The Haunting of a Quilter's Square. It's a Missouri Star mystery. I know she writes them for their block magazine subscriptions. Um, so this is an actual book, so that's kind of fun. And it came with a Jenny Doan bookmark, so you can bookmark with the main character. It says, imagination is the greatest gift. Need to relax and recharge your batteries? Read a good book journal, bake some goodies, make a cup of tea, create something new. Can I tell you, baking some goodies does not help you relax. I enjoy baking, I enjoy cooking, but I don't find it relaxing. I find it a little stressful. And this, unless you have something to clean up after you, maybe, but it's not relaxing to me. Because well, that leaves us one package left. This big one that takes up the in this big one that takes up the entire box, and it feels squishy. Maybe it is a project. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, you ready? It's not. I don't think it's a project. I think it's a gift. What? Sewing project case? This is like a trapper keeper for sewing. Look, all right. Definitely fits 10 inch squares or completed blocks. I just, there's, there's a, there's a, I'm trying to show you back here. Here we go. All right. Take that out, even though it's pretty. <laughs> you have this. That comes out too? I was wondering why the mesh pocket was upside down. So that's a mesh pocket with a board so you can put things back there and you can put this on top and you can fill your mesh pocket and then you can put more stuff on top. This is a nice little gift. Even if I never use it, this is a nice gift. It's in the Missouri Star fabric. All right, then you got all these little pockets for your scissors and cutters and scissors and cutters and scissors and oh, add a seam ripper. Um, more little zipper vinyl pockets up here. And more little things to put in there. I don't even know what all to put in here. Zippers shut so none of your projects fall out. And it's got another pocket up here. And a little travel thing you can put your information here so that when you go on retreat with other Advent Quilter subscribers, you know who these who's. It's definitely brand of Missouri Star and it's Missouri Star fabric. But you guys, this is good. Good day 25. Is this the best thing here? It might be. That was a good 25. I'm not gonna lie. I always feel like the last day should be the best gift and this is the one you would be opening on Christmas morning. That's really nice. Like this, this is definitely not a $5 gift. This is like, okay, what I would pay for it is maybe 25. Realistically, what I would expect the price tag to be, which means it's probably like a $50 thing. Okay, wow. I don't even, I. Okay, so out of everything in the box, there was maybe two things I wasn't really excited about. That's pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good. Everything I would say was definitely more than a $5 item. I'm trying to think if there's anything even close. The charm squares are the closest thing 
to being a five dollar item but they're not the minis they're the biggies you know the five inch so those are like 11. the patterns are six something because they're always on sale they're never actually but they're gonna be like 6.95 but they were never in a package by themselves they were always with something like they were in with the polytherm fleece you know it wasn't by itself so those are definitely more than five and that polytherm fleece that was more than five dollars for that amount I do not feel gypped in any way I am really I am after watching last year's I was expecting to be a little bit disappointed in all honesty I am not I'm not even a little this is insane I'm sorry, I was I was not expecting it to be this good. The applique I'm a little apprehensive about, but I think the ugly sweater one is 100% worth it. 100%. And I might not make the pillow one with this fabric because I might be making ugly sweaters for like everybody. Like you get a sweater, you get a sweater. Um, oh, a cute little ornament. I'm gonna, mm hmm yep, I'm gonna make some ugly sweater ornaments. Use a little template, stuff them full of bedding back and forth. Oh my gosh, that might be the best thing in the box. I didn't even know that was gonna be the best thing, but I'm really excited about that. Everyone's getting an ugly sweater ornament. That's fantastic. I like that idea. Okay, <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to give you my overall thoughts and opinions about this box, and I, I'm, I'm more speechless than anything. I can't even tell you what my favorite item in the box is. Honestly, I don't know if I will use this because again, I don't travel and sew. Except I do. This, I could fill this with my embroidery that I've been working on. You could totally put the hoop there. Oh, wow, that was loud. You can totally put the hoop there and the extra fabrics and threads and needles and things, everything I need. and. That's way more easier to carry and to get things out of than the little book tote that I have it in currently. Like, I don't, I don't even know what my favorite thing is. The playing cards are fun. Not that exciting, but they're fun. The cookie roller on day six was, it was cute. It was nice. Scandin I mean, this is a very Scandinavian box, and she gave us a Scandinavian recipe to go with it. I mean, I... There were two things I wasn't that excited about, and I, at this point I can't even remember what they were. Because everything else was just like, whoa. Um, I know it was just under 200, maybe like 197. Or maybe, maybe it was just over 200? I don't recall. I don't recall, but this was by far hands down worth it, 100%. I cannot, okay, first of all, I cannot wait to get started on these projects. And second of all, wow. Good job, Jenny, good job. That's all I have to say. All right, for real this time, I'm done. I'm signing off <laughs> and I don't, I gotta go rinse a mug and make another cup of coffee even though I've already had my two for the day. It looks like we're going for a third. <laughs> Alright guys, again, hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you for the next one and I will keep you updated on some of these projects.